Queen bees have smoother, thinner abdomens, while worker bees are shorter and fatter. A queen can reach up to three quarters of an inch in length, making her larger than worker bees, which typically grow to a half inch. The wings of a queen are shorter, only reaching about halfway down her abdomen. A worker bees reach the end of her body. This extra wingspan helps with flying, making foraging and scouting new hive locations easier. Worker bees have pollen baskets on their hind legs for collecting and carrying pollen back to the hive. Queens lack this anatomy as they never forage. The queen's primary role within the hive is reproduction. She is the only fertile female responsible for laying eggs. The queen also plays a crucial role in releasing pheromones to regulate hive activity. Workers are infertile females who perform most of the work within the hive. Common tasks include foraging for nectar and pollen, caring for the queen and brood, and maintaining and defending the hive. A queen may live between three to five years. Her presence is essential for the colony's growth, as she is the sole egg layer. When a queen bee stops laying eggs, it signals to the colony that she is no longer useful. Worker bees will raise a new queen to replace the existing one. Workers have much shorter lives, which varies depending on the season. During the busy summer months, they are highly active, so their lifespans average six weeks. Workers born in late autumn can live four to six months as they have less foraging work. Their overwintering duties focus on keeping the queen safe and warm. The queen stinger is smooth, allowing her to sting multiple times. This feature is crucial during rival queen combat, where the queen fights to the death. Worker bees have a barbed stinger that provides a potent defense against threats. As the bee moves away, it tears from the abdomen, resulting in the worker's death.